Naughty, naughty. What's the crack lads? Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Romario. We're going to be comparing him with the other versions of Romario. We're going to be showing you the best build and skills and of course some gameplay. Is he worth it? Let's find out. Okay, so let's kick off with talking about the new Epic Booster Romario. He's a 34 year old Vasco da Gama version of the card. So he's not going to be as lightning quick as the other released versions of Romario. That's the first thing to get out of the way. And then also on top of that as well, as we take a look at his profile here in a second, the big selling point of this Romario is that you can have an end game, one of the best CFs in the game, with a 50 box. So it's not in a 150 box, it's a 50 box. So you can kind of clear this easily enough. I mean, I've seen people get him in their free spin. I've seen people get him in a 110 pack spin, so it's going to be 900 coins. I think if you're going... <sighs> This is a hard one, because if you are spinning two 10-pack spins and it's going to cost you 1,800 coins, I think it's probably worth that. It's probably worth about 2,000 coins to guarantee yourself for a Mario. But if you don't get it in two, in two spins or 2,000 coins, I feel like it is a bit of a bust to go any deeper for him, because there's just so many good CFs in the game that can do a job for you. There are his stats there. You've got the booster as well, of course. But the big thing with this card compared to the other versions of Romario is his base kicking power, his base speed, and his base acceleration stats. It's going to be very hard to get them up to a level of in-game Romario, right? And we'll take a look at my best version of Romario towards the end of the video. Skill-wise then as well, he's missing a couple of player styles there. He doesn't have amazing run. He's got speeding bullet. He also needs a little bit more work with his player skills because he doesn't have double touch, flip flap and soul control. You're going to have to give him a few of those. And I'm going to show you again with the booster of Mario that came out towards the end of the video. You know, that it is a little bit more work with Romario. You, gar you can guarantee yourself an end game level Romario. And this is kind of something that's going to feed into a new video I'm going to be doing, right? You can see here, this is where Romario's strengths lie. It's when you're not on the ball with him. We just pass a simple pass off here to Trent who's overlapping. We're going to be closed down. But watch the space that Romario makes. I'm going to show you that we don't want to pass if Romario goes onto the right side of Rudiger because it's goal side of him. We want to get in between the two of these and hope that the player switches. Now watch Romario's movement, man. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's really, really strong. It's really, really good. And you will see that if you go from playing with Mbappe or somebody like that to Romario or Saviola, their movement is just unbelievable with the player ID. That's the one big selling point of the likes of Romario. And if you've never played a Romario before, that can be enough to actually warrant going out and getting this guy He's in a 50 box. You can guarantee yourself that you're going to get him. You know, if you want to go deep for him, I mean, you just need 10 spins or five 10 pack spins. This is the build that we've gone for. There's two builds. I'm going to show you two different builds of him and how he looks in game as well, thanks to OC. But this is the Romario build that I would potentially go with. Again, I'm not too focused on manager boosts. We're going to show you Alonso and Pep, which is the, the main managers that people are using now for the ADA proficiency to get the max player in-game stat boost. But this is the build that we've gone for here down in the bottom left of the screen, as you can see there, 5-0, 11-11-8. Lower body strength is going to be an issue. Kick and power is going to be a slight issue. But everything else on this card is very, very nice. You know, you're going to have a really good end game level CF that you don't need to spend a massive, a massive amount. I mean, I've seen people go super deep on boxes of 150. We've done it ourselves where we've gone down to the last 10 pack spin. You know, if you want to guarantee 50 pack, I mean, if as an entry level Romario, it definitely is a good one. This is with Xabi Alonso. You'll see he gets the boost to the acceleration. So he gets 91 acceleration. It's the same builds, but just obviously the difference between the plus one to the acceleration stat. And then with Pep, it's going to be a plus one to his tight possession stat. Everything else stays the same. Every manager boost stays the same, apart from the individual stat that they're going to get. And of course, Ten Hag booster is going to give you the boost to his speed. So it, it, yeah, look, it does depend on what kind of player you want to have up front. I think that if you are pushing rank, if you are looking for more wins, you definitely need a player that has just got lightning quick movement and excellent movement off the pitch, off the ball. This is my Romario, lads, and you can just see that he wipes the floor stat-wise. It's not all about stats, but he wipes the floor stat-wise, skill-wise, and player ID-wise with the new Romario. If you've missed out on this Romario, these are the stats that I have with him. It's just a fantastic card built for one purpose and one purpose only. Goals. Pure destruction up front. Flip flap and double touch off the rip with this Romario. So we just threw soul control on him. And then any other skills you want to give him is just a bonus. And you can see, I often don't play with Romario lads because he's a guaranteed goal a game. Honestly, I score a goal a game with him. It doesn't matter who I'm playing. He just guarantees a goal a game. So yeah, final thoughts coming up next. Final thoughts in Romario. I don't think that it's worth spinning, especially if you have another version of Romario. Any other version of Romario is going to make the same 
same runs, the same style player, same AI, same player ID. I feel like this Romario is definitely just like an entry point Romario that you can guarantee yourself with 10, 10 pack spins or 10, 10 player spins, you can get a Romario that's going to be pretty much end game. He's still a beast. I mean, you see the stats there. But if you have another version of Romario, or I include Saviola, any of those run and gun, Mbappe, any player that's scoring goals here by run and gun, you can just stick with them, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, definitely a good entry point. Let me know if you're going to spin for him. Let me know if you're going to get him. And we'll talk to you in the next one.